Hi everyone, Sue Matsuki with another Sue's Views. Today I want to talk a little bit about how you find your team, meaning your director and your musical director. Well, in my book, So You Want to Sing Cabaret, I suggest a couple of ways to find the right people. The first would be to go to as many shows as you can and just take a listen to who's playing for whom and do you like their style? Does their style fit with your style? Do they seem like they're on stage with joy and with the singer, or are they up there seemingly just getting paid to do a job? You can kind of tell by the energy. Then I would suggest after you have three or four names on your list that maybe you book a one-hour session with them, you bring a bunch of music, and you just play. You just make music with them and see how you get along um, personality-wise, see how they play, see if they're giving you what you need on the songs, see if they can read your charts down. All these things would be factors in consideration when um, hiring someone. And remember, this is a job you're hiring for, so you're the boss here. Um, I love to work with different musical directors because I think that each time you work with someone different, they bring something new to the table. Although, admittedly, I have been with my same musical director for 30 years now. It's always kind of cool to just kind of cheat <laughs> and get a chance to work with somebody else. So I would say that this is the best way. And you don't have to use the same musical director for every project. Maybe one musical director has got more jazz chops and you're doing a standard show and another one has more country or pop charts and you want to do that kind of show. So that could work its way out too in these kind of five little, four or five little mini sessions that you're going to have with them to see how you get along with each other. In terms of a director, I would again say, as you're watching people's shows, do you see that director all over the show? That's not a good thing. You want to see the person on stage in the show. So if you're watching a show and you just say, oh, that must be a so-and-so product, or that must be a so-and-so product, this is not necessarily a good thing for me. I don't want to know that it's this person's directorial or that person's directorial. Um, some directors have formulas that will work for you and others have for formulas that will not work for you. Again, it's a matter of personality and getting along with each other and being honest with each other. There's also another degree and level of intimacy that you have with your director. Sometimes they know a little bit more about the background of your song and your personal life. So you have to be careful with uh, them in terms of what you feel comfortable sharing uh, in order to get the best work out of you. Again, I would suggest that look up these different directors and see if they teach any classes and see if you can audit or take one of their classes just to see how you feel about the direction they give you in a class situation. If you like them, take their class for a longer period of time. If you really like them, hire them to do a project with you. And again, different directors might be appropriate and um, better for different projects. So keep that in mind as well. All right, that's just a quickie tutorial on how to find your peeps. Your band's a whole other story. We'll talk about that in another Sue's Views. But if anybody has any questions, as always, just shoot me an email or give me a call. And I'm happy to address any other topics that you want to have me discuss. Take care and have a nice day.